Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center, coming at you with a quick five minute uh, full body mobility break that's going to help to unlock a lot of different joints in our body. That includes hips, knees, ankles, you name it, we're going to hit it in this quick five minute break. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first a couple moves are going to be on the floor here. We're going to flow from one to the next. And so the very first thing we're going to be doing is called a kneeling thread the needle. So I what I want you to do is you're going to come down to a kneeling position, full kneeling. Then we're going to come to uh, knees and hands position. From here, I want to choose one arm to start with. Palm is going to be facing up towards the ceiling. I want to try to rotate as much as I can without letting my hips completely pop out to one side. I'm going to hold for a second or two, feel that stretch between the shoulder blades. I then come back up and alternate to the other side. We're doing five on each side here with a couple second hold. And really try to reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Feel that stretch, like I said, in between those shoulder blades. It helps to stretch out dynamically that rhomboid musculature that helps to bring the shoulder blades together. So we're still going back and forth with a couple second hold. We got our last one coming right here. One more on the other side. Good, and then from there, what we're gonna do is we're going to kick one leg out, and then <clears throat> what I want you to do, you can come up on the toe on this back leg here, this toe of the straight leg is going to be pointing towards the ceiling. And then we're going to just sit back into it for a couple seconds. And then come back up. We're going to do five of these. So let's start here. You're going to feel a stretch through the groin area on the inner thigh, as well as one of those heads of your hamstrings. And remember, we're not going for static stretches here. Here's four. So we're kind of moving in and out of these quickly. Now that we got five there, let's kick it out to the other leg. I'll give you this view. Toe is pointed forwards. I'm, I've got weight on my hands right now, but I'm gonna shift it back. Hold for a second or two, I then come back up. So this is our hamstring sit back. And we're going for five of these. I've got one more. Perfect, and then from there, we're gonna flow right into a down dog position. So from here, sweep that leg behind you. Uh, hands are shoulder width apart. I want you to get into this push-up position, and then drive those hands away from you to get into this down dog position. Right now, I'm creating separation as much as I can from my hands and my shoulders. So elbows are straight, knees are straight. And we're gonna just walk the dog here, which means we're driving the heel towards the floor, coming up on the toe of the other foot, holding for a second or two. So what we're getting here is we're getting some shoulder mobility work, we're getting some hamstring mobility work, and then we're also getting some calf work. So really great mobility exercise to get everything feeling like it should. And we're going 10 walks on each side. Don't feel like you have to keep count. Really, we're just walking back and forth for about 30 seconds. And then once we've got that, you can come on up. I want you to bring one leg out into a half kneeling position and from here we're going to come into a lunge. So I want you to drive back onto the toe of that back leg and then we are going to go for some hip openers here. So let me give you this front view. In this position my back knee is up, I'm feeling that stretch through the front of my hip and then I'm going to take, if my right leg is forward, my right arm, bring it down right next to the instep of my shoe and then I want to use my elbow to push out on the knee. 
Only hold for a second or two, and then come back in. We're going to go for five, for ten of these. So they're just kind of quick, pressing out. Try to keep your foot completely on the floor. That's going to ensure that when we push out, we're getting the uh, hip opening and not just the foot falling onto the edge of the shoe. All right, once we've got 10 there, step back into that high plank position. Other side. Push. Give me 10 pushes. Remember, keep that back leg elevated. Feel that stretch through the hip capsule. And once we've got 10, we're going to pop it back up. Work your way up to standing. And our very last move of this quick mobility break is going to be a swimmer. We're going to do it standing. We've done these before on our stomach, but these can easily be done standing. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our hands behind our head. I want you to reflexively brace your core, so don't let your ribs flare when you do this. Naturally, you're going to end up looking like this if you don't uh, focus on keeping that core tight. So pull that navel towards your spine, hold that, keep breathing. We're going to start hands behind the head. I want you to straighten the elbows, try to keep the arms behind your ears. Then we're going to come behind, create as much separation as possible between those arms and the back. And then we're going to meet with hands together right here. I'm trying to keep my shoulders down. I don't want them up elevated and I'm squeezing those shoulders shoulder blades together in this bottom position so that's one we're going for five so we're coming back up starting position core is tight elbows straighten they start rotating thumbs turn behind us finish here shoulder shoulders are down shoulder blades are squeezed together I'm driving those elbows away from me that's two let's go for three And I know this one feels tough. We're really working on a lot of shoulder mobility here. Make sure you're looking straight forward. There's four, and let's go for our last one. I know it's burning. Stay with me. Straightening those elbows, core stays tight. Coming behind, getting those elbows out, and then bring it forward, shake it all out. And that is it for our quick full body mobility break today. Thanks for joining me. And be sure to stay tuned for more coming soon.